are you in the process of purchasing a investment property but you're in a dilemma of whether to choose a fixed rate or variable rate then this video is for you Namaskar, Adabar Se, Wanakam, Sesrikal, Good morning, good evening, what's up guys, this is Aditya. So, you know, it's a beautiful evening, I'm sitting in my, on my new deck, I love this place. I'm gonna post the new video about my new home tour in later videos, but, you know, in this video, um, as I said, if you are in a dilemma to choose between fixed rate or variable rate mortgage, then you know but i'm gonna give you details so before i get into that details you know i am um, a resource that i always look after is a best website you know it's, it's it's a ton of knowledge regarding mortgage you have to check it out i don't get any commission or affiliated it's it's a rate hub.ca i don't even have any link in the description so just you will see that on the screen ratehub.ca there you can find out you know what's the mortgage payment uh, what's the variable mortgage payment what's the fixed uh, mortgage payment um, what's the penalty if you you know buy out your um, you know if you sell your property in two years or three years you know you can find ton of information there so you know check that out but now let's get into what's the pros and cons for investor to have a fixed rate or variable rate so first let's start with the fixed rate so fixed rate the name itself says that fixed so you have a fixed uh, interest rate for a term it could be three years or five years it depends on what you choose but your rate will be fixed for that certain amount so the the pro positive side of it is now you know your monthly payment you know it's, it's not going to change you can have that peace of mind so some people they don't want to have a you know um, see that variable change like a gambling up and down so they don't want that ha happen then if you're like that then fixed rate might be for you but um, the downside is overall when uh, um, ten, eight out of ten times you are paying little extra in terms of interest when you choose fixed rate here is the positive sides of variable and the negative sides of variable because that's the that's with the fixed rate it's it's pretty straightforward but the variable has a lot of things like a lot of positives especially for investors because variable name itself suggests that it's, it, it varies so I'll talk about the negative side first because that's something you have to know the negative side is the rate can go up or down you know if you're uh, buying right now if your prime if your rate is like you know 2.5 percent but after a month or two months or it could go up to three percent or four percent or five percent who knows what's the percentage so that's the biggest downside but i'll talk about how to mitigate that downside later on but let's look at the positive sides so the variable has a positive sides like a lot of positive sides first thing as an investor you know you don't know when you want to sell your property you don't know you know pr pretty much like you, you can sell it like after a year or two years or three years most likely your penalty when compared to fixed variable is less point number one point number two you will save interest rate right off the bat when you start so what i mean by that for example fixed rate today if you look at it probably it is something like you know 2.85 or 2 point um, for rental properties maybe 3 or 3.05 for different lenders has different rates so let's say you start at 3 now variable could be prime minus 1 or prime minus you know 0 0.85 or depends on lenders you know there will be always some promotionals going on always check out on rate, ratehub.ca but let's take the best side most of the times you will get a prime minus 1 so if the prime is I, I believe uh, right now it's 3.45 so minus 1 which is your starting like 2.45 so almost uh, uh, 0.5 five less than the fixed rate so you're starting low so that's where you're saving money and 
if if the rates goes down like in last couple of months the rate went down before that the rents rates went up so the first case if the rate went down now you're saving even more money your monthly payment reduced even lower because it's a variable um the the downside if the rate goes up your your you know monthly payment going up but let's come back to investor side what i discussed earlier so now even if your rate goes up just keep in mind you are buying for an investment property because you have an income coming in your interest rate whatever you're paying that's your you know um tax deductible so that's your expense so you're kind of gambling a little bit here um for for you know for, that's the risk you're taking if if it goes up but if you are like you know what i just don't care i don't want to have any you know i don't even want to think about what's going on there then the fixed rate might be for you but if you're like a, um, a investor who buys and sells the property whenever the market is turns good um you you want to save um money right off the bat and maybe sell it after a year or after six months or you know in that way like your monthly payments are lower and and you know your overall your uh, kind of uh, you know even your penalty is lower when compared to fixed so that side like mostly i would recommend like eight out of ten times the variable is best for investor but again i'm not a mortgage agent or anything this is just my opinion because you know everyone have their own opinion and this is again the eight out of ten time it's not my own uh, decision I, i i i read a lot of statistics when i was like buying my second rental property because when you buy owner occupied you will have cmhc the interest rate is obviously lesser because you have cmhc but when you buying a rental property the interest rates are up that's when like i started to dig more oh my god it's it's up why the hack is up because it's a rental property the risk is higher for the lender so you know long story short that's when i started to dig the statistics like you know experts um, you you can go and read more blogs and uh, um you know stories and you can even do a comparative analysis on ratehub.ca they have like ton of information there and that's what i have done that's why that's where i got this information from and also a couple of other resources where um you can see on uh, rbc i believe where you have all the statistics uh, what was the interest rates like a few years ago uh, 10 years ago 20 years ago so the, always there is a, like a chat comparatively overall in a, in a period of 5 to 10 years you will save money on variable uh, you will you know lose money on fixed rate so investor go for a variable that's my suggestion again my opinion don't stick to it just go search research on rate hub With that thank you so much for you know checking out uh, sticking on the video till here that means you're really serious investor and also i would love to hear your opinion you know what you think because maybe you know my opinions might be wrong so i want to hear other opinions as well so please comment below so let's learn from each other you know with that have a wonderful day guys